I feel great. Uh, I think that the reveal reveal went like better than we could possibly uh, imagine. Uh, you don't know. You're making a game for three years and your first time out. Like, let's hope people like it. You know, so went really well. We were very conscious that the uh, uh, environments would look different. That was very important. I think you're going to get in there and you're going to play the game, maybe and think Dead Space, but when you're done, it's a different story, different characters, different universe, different way we tell the story. We go really deep on story. The combat is different. Enemies are different. I can't see people going, oh, that's Dead Space 4. They call Callisto the dead moon. Dead. The different environments allow for different types of scares. But they allow for different ways for the enemies to come across you. Um, and they allow for different places, different types of combat for you as well. Uh, so we tried to mess it up as much as possible and, uh, and just make each area um, unique. They're called the biophage. I think it means something like starting from virus. It has something to do with that. You know, when you see a trailer, you usually see them when they're out already and they're fighting you and all that. But it's the how do they get to you that's pretty scary. We spent a couple years on what we call the gore system, like engineers, rendering engineers, a couple of artists. They just spent time tearing each and enemy every enemy apart and then um you know it, there were times we're like no nah, tear another hole in him you know go go do this or uh and so each one like you may never see the same torn apart guy uh you know twice and uh that was part of it too we wanted each and every person to have like a different horrific experience not only do we have a bunch of like horrible deaths, but um, then the way that he is built, uh, he can be torn apart just by a normal, you know, the enemy slicing them. And maybe his arm already has enough hit points. His arm will come off, his head will come off. So um, even the, um, the ones that aren't sort of planned are gonna be different. Resident Evil 4 uh, uh, was a great game, and um, I had I'd finished it just before Dead Space, and um, it had a lot of influence. All due respect, wasn't the scariest game in the world, but it had a lot of tension. Loved that game. Can't wait for the remake. It looked fantastic. Whenever I see any um, any studio shut down or anything, it's uh, uh, you know I'm 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 not a fan of that. I actually named it Visceral. So, uh, and we were at that time, the plan was uh, we were gonna make that kind of game. So uh, Dante's Inferno came out a little after. We had another one that we were working on, uh, but then I eventually uh, left to go start Sledgehammer. We're not doing the eye scene, yeah. um, but I think we got some really horrible things. One thing that we did when we set up uh, uh, striking distance was we put a mocap studio in our office. No longer are the days where we would have, hey, in three weeks, we got two days down in LA where we got mocap. Now it was like, anytime we wanted, we could go back in and shoot. And that allowed for just greater range of movement, better movement, better quality across the board. No doubt that was conscious right from the very beginning. My uh, chief creative officer was just like, you gotta put a mocap studio in your new place. So we did. I think they can succeed because there's less of them. And so, you know, hopefully more people will gravitate towards, hey, I, you know, I've been playing multiplayer for like, uh, you know, last three months, but let me go play a big story game. Let me go play Last of Us or Horizon or something like that. And, and that, that was what we were seeing. 
We're seeing that people were going and they were taking two weeks and saying, I'm gonna finish this game. Every game I've ever made has had one that you worry about, right? And uh, Modern Warfare 3 had Battlefield 3, right? Came out a month apart. I stopped worrying about it years ago because I'm like, it's something happens or it just, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that they do well, um, you know, because they're, they're fellow devs. See this? When I got in there, they were like, hey, we've been working on this story and this lore and this timeline, and we think that you can actually put the game in the timeline, right? And I'm like, yeah, why not? I mean, PUBG's giant, like, will it help? Um, and then, you know, we're a year into it, and we're like, well, wow. the story, we just did what we wanted. Uh, characters, universe, you know, all that. And so um, we were late to announcing it because it really happened a while ago. But um, uh, we just didn't want people getting confused. So we came out with the, the announcement. It's no more in there. These new systems, they do not come with instructions, right? You're, you're like, you got millions of dollars worth of engineers who got to figure this darn thing out. So in the beginning, it's hard, right? The easiest thing to get in the very beginning is graphics. Then comes audio, then comes special effects, then comes like our main character is awesome. Just looks like Josh. And that came with a team of 10 rendering people on it. I think they're getting better and better. Um, I think guest games have had moments. Um, I think now you're gonna start to see people, you know, playing more. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. It's kind of linear, but then we went back and we added beta paths for exploration. And we added a lot. And you don't have to do them if you don't want, but there is a lot of hidden stuff in the game. You'll learn more about the story. I do want you going, oh shoot, I was here. And then uh, like, I gotta follow my way back and get back. Crafton wants to have a, a a bigger a bigger spot in the world, and um, uh, and I think they're they're motivated and uh, they have the right attitude, and so hopefully we'll be seeing this will be one of the companies that does expand more. You got to let the first one come out, got to see how it goes, and then uh, then the other stuff follows. This is Black Iron to transport ship Caron. You are cleared for landing.